Hello world, Lockpicking Dev here. Today I have an Abus E90N. This is a uh, pretty cool pins lock, and I'll show you. Um, we already have the key under the the, uh, the card here because I already took the cam out and everything, and the, uh, the C clips off the back here, so it's easy to get because it was a pain. And I have those back here right now. So um, let's see if we can get the sucker open. <clears throat> Excuse me. Four. I'll click out of five. Like maybe two. Have to make sure we're under it correctly. Nope. Six. A little bit of movement on it. Still feels springy though. So maybe not quite yet. There we go. More on five. Four. There we go. That is six. We got into a nice deep full set. There we go. I just think we got out of it. So there's six. Or did we just fall back in? Let's double check that. Yep, six feels all right. There's one. Here, sorry about that. A little bit better view this way. Feels like I may need to get a little bit more out of five. I'm gonna switch my pick here for a second. Let's see what different fuel helps out. This one's slightly taller. Yep, there we go. Little last bit out of six there. That was up there. Nope, that's in a false set. Get it. Let's keep moving.
too. Looks like we got six onto a false set again. Nope, maybe it's just set. Position myself. Different angle probably help here. Let's switch back to this pick. There we go. Five was our last one right there. Man. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna do now. Let's got this. Put that down there. Let's see if we can position this good. There you go. Here's a <clears throat> here's our key. Focus. There we go. See, amazing bidding. Really good bidding. Low high, low high, high high. Let's go ahead and get this taken apart here. Move all this out of the way. Let's go just a little bit for now. So, I'm not sure if I used a shim last time. I don't think I need one on this core. But, you know what? Wouldn't hurt to put one in on the end here just in case. At least for the end part here, there's a little bit of a gap there. Go shim shim fru. Yep, there we go. That's why. Son of a bitch. I know it happened too. And that sucks. So, I might have to end up cutting and coming back to this. Yeah, this will take a second. All right, I will be back. All right, everyone, I'm back, and I decided to drill out chamber three there because this is the pin that was there, and that pin got caught in the core right there as I was pulling it out. So, let's zoom in here. See the driver pin in chamber three is a T pin, but what's a little hard to see, if I can pick it up, see if I can get it to sh focus here, is on top right there. You can see where when I drilled it out, I drilled some of this pin. So if we look closely. And see that some of that is mashed spring and that's because this was a spring loaded t-pin so a really strong one too so this little part this little piece right here would fire up and down kind of like a multi-lock inside of here with the tall part sticking outside the top there that was spring loaded 
So unfortunately, I destroyed the pin drilling it out, which really sucks. But it is what it is. We'll replace it with another spool. Another cool feature is the pin in pin pin right here in chamber five. So there's the outer pin right there. You see the hole in, here's the inner pin right there. Let's see if we can get it in there. There we go. So you can see it inside of the pin right now. So it's kind of like a multi-lock as well. So where that pin's inside. The rest are all spools. And the keyway on this thing Eh, not too bad. But this is the Avis 3 Star E90M. Very cool lock. It was a tough lock to get down, especially with the really high bidding that we have right here. If I, I recommend if you ever run across one, if you want to try picking something fun, get one of these. Alright everyone, thanks for watching.